you know, what I appreciate, uh, you know, about those guys is that uh, they showed up every day, continued to lead. You know, for that, I'm always uh, going to appreciate and remember these seniors, and I want to see them uh, go out strong today. You finished in an uncommon way. I'm not just talking about the fourth quarter. I'm talking about today. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see where we're going to be next year. We're fortunate to have coaches that have ties to a lot of different places and relationships with a lot of high school coaches that allow us to expand our reach. I'm really proud of that group. Obviously, this was not the the year, the season that we wanted, and definitely not the, the year of 2020 that uh, we all wanted. Obviously, a lot of adversity and a lot of uh, new uh, challenges. But you know, I tell you what, this senior group has really done a good job of helping myself and, and our staff kind of establish the, the culture and the foundation that we're going to be able to to build from here over the next couple of years. So, you know, for that, I'm always uh, going to appreciate and remember these seniors. This is number nine, defensive back, KJ Sands. Man, I feel great, man. On course to get his degree, that's what it's all about. You had a great career here, man. I'm forever a boy and I'm forever thankful. I appreciate y'all for everything. They wasn't trying to let us in, so we had kicked the door. Reminisce about the days when I slept on the floor. I wouldn't have it in. Pressure, it's caught, it's Miller, and it's a first down inside the 30. Family and they do it is caught, touchdown, Bryce Miller. Fires middle of the field, caught, Bryce Miller, touchdown. It's a 23, Bulls have to get to the 8, taking a shot at the end zone, it is caught, touchdown, USF. Devontrez Odom Stoops in his last game for the Bulls. And look at that smile on that young man, Jim. How about this? Your last college football game and you scored two touchdowns. Here's Kelly Joyner on a big run to the 30, to the 20, puts a shoulder down and gets down to the 18. Joyner with a big run. That will get him over 100 yards on the day. The T, he ducks outside, he gets to the 10, he gets to the 5, and he's down inside the 5 yard line and right into the end zone. Touchdown, USF. Freshman Brian Petit. Reminisce about the days when I slept on the floor. Gabriel to throw under pressure and he'll be sick back at the 39 yard line. Looks like Andrew Mims in there to make the play. Gabriel rolling, rolling, now throws on the run. And it's picked off Dwayne Boyles at the 48 yard line of UCF. You know, I'm very confident that we made a lot of progress uh, this season. And, you know, like I told our players, when, you, when you're building a foundation, which is really what we've been doing, uh, since we got back in June, you know, there, there's a lot of building. A lot of that foundation is when you're pouring concrete, you know, underneath the, the ground level there. You see, you've come a long way from a year ago. A long way from a year ago. I promise you that. I need you to continue to believe. I need you to get your, your mindset right. Whenever you get back here in January, and we're freaking going to work. One team! One, one team! team! One green! One, one team! Team! One RB! One RB! United on two! One team! United! Hey Bulls fans, Coach Scott here. Kick off football game days with breakfast at Wendy's. You can score a free honey butter chicken biscuit on game day mornings with any other breakfast purchase. Go Bulls! Putting all those pieces together and, and building a team, um, it's just, it's fascinating to me. All, all kinds of people from different backgrounds and, and different ways of life, you know, all coming together with a common goal. Coach Scott, you know, he's put a huge focus um, you know, on the Bay Area. So the six counties around Tampa, we have all 10 coaches in there so that we make sure that we are on top of, of every player in this area. You know, no stone is unturned. You know, for the class of 2021, we probably have, you know, close to 4,000 players in that database just for that graduation year. So we have so many names to get through. So to actually end up on the recruiting board 
it's a kind of a tougher process because you know there's so many filters they got to get through you know grades character talent so we're taking all those thousands of names and then we're kind of shrinking it down to you know about 100 names the most important part of my job is connecting the culture that coach scott is installing here with the usf football branding and making sure that they are showing the same message definitely very rewarding it requires a lot of planning a lot of thought but ultimately the process normally starts with like a single idea or image if they do receive two graphics each week that are personalized to them in one way or another they'll receive typically a general correspondence that could be about you know the team a staff member or the university as a whole my role in uh this year has has definitely changed my role is to you know get these guys on campus communicate with them when they actually get in here just show them the best time. Just make sure whenever they leave campus that they had a great time at South Florida. Now we're working on a virtual visit now. Um, and we're gonna have, you know, kids call in and Zoom is our best friend right now. This is the best staff that I've been around family-wise, family first. And you can kind of tell is that it's not forced, is 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 definitely genuine. Well this staff is unbelievable. The chemistry we have here. I mean, from day one, it was really, it was special. This is my fifth coaching staff in my career in athletics, and I have to say it's by far my favorite, just the family atmosphere and, and just the love. We're always kind of thinking forward here in this office, you know, we're not thinking, you know, right now, today, you know, we're, we're watching kids who are, you know, sometimes freshmen in high school, all that kind of stuff. You know, hopefully, you know, we can look up here in a couple of years and, and it'll, it'll, it'll all have paid off. Thank you for watching season one of United the Vlog. We can't wait to bring you even closer to our team next year for season two. Thank you guys for following along this year. Go Bulls!